This is my mobile recording rig. If you're like me, sometimes you wanna move around and get inspiration in different places. You know, sometimes when you work in the same studio every day, multiple times a week, kinda of starts to become redundant. You know, and if maybe you're not an old school pen and paper, uh, acoustic guitar in the backyard type of person, you wanna have some sort of electronic assist, this is what I would recommend. You know, sometimes you just want to go out in the backyard, go to a coffee shop, go somewhere and just kind of get a new lease on the songwriting process, yet you want to be productive while you're there. So that is why I built this rig. And I'm going to go over the things I use that I kind of wanted as the bare minimum. I have a few things I can bring in or take out, but this is kind of the bare bones of it all. And if you are new here to the channel, please like this video and subscribe. Also check out the description below. There's deals on things, links to my music, my website, things like that. So check that out as well, please. Okay, going over what I have here for my playback monitoring setup, I have some Barrett Dynamic DT770s. Most all of the music I'll be working on on this mobile rig will eventually come back into my actual studio and you know get put through the focal alphas and tuned and mixed that way. Next up, I have a SSD hard drive. I have an in-house server set up for all my music and video, but if I'm on the fly and I just wanna have a quick backup of everything, uh, instead of having to upload it to my server, my NAS, you know, and then dump it over to my actual mix computer, I can just toss files back and forth really quick between them by using the SSD, and so far it's working great. Next up, I have the mouse. Uh, I don't like using a trackpad on a laptop, so I just had to get a little Bluetooth mouse, and it's pretty basic. All right, and next up I have the Akai LPK25, if you just saw my video of unboxing, uh, I just got this not long ago, so it's kind of the final piece of my bare bones mobile rig. So far, so good. Along with this, I have, of course, the cable. And if you saw the unboxing, the main reason I want to go with this was because I wanted, you know, I didn't want to have power cords. I want to, to go out in the middle of nowhere with my battery charged on my laptop, be able to plug this in and just go. I don't want it to be tied to an outlet or anything like that. So that is why I went with this guy. Granted, there's other options too but this one had good reviews. All I need is a cable and I'm good to go. All right, and the last thing I bring with this rig is my E licensor for my Cubase Pro software. Uh, I have it installed on both computers. All I need to do is just be able to bring this and I can just pop between the two, no problem, plug it in and I'm up and running on whichever you know system I wanna be on. All right, and of course, last but not least, I have my laptop. I got this puppy on sale for 650. I was really looking for something that wouldn't break the bank. Of course, that's kind of one of the things I like to do is not break the bank. 650 for this, it's got the 11th generation i7. It's got 12 gigs of RAM, it's got Windows 10 uh, Pro. I mean, for the price, I feel like I couldn't beat it. Uh, so far, it's been amazing. I have a couple pretty labor-intensive plugins, and this thing has been running them um, amazingly well. I argue just as good, maybe even better than my actual desktop. I've not layered on a lot of the plugins yet with this, but so far, it has handled everything I've thrown at it, no problem at all. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I set this all up and how my workflow is with this mobile rig. All right, so the first thing I always do, of course, is flip on my mouse, so I'm then rocking and rolling there. Next thing I would wanna do is plug in my E licensor. That way I can activate my Cubase when I'm on the road. All right, that's up and going. And then the next thing I wanna do is plug in the keyboard. So me being right hand, I like to have it on the right hand side. I like to kind of have the cable run back and around on the side, kind of keep it clean. Put that right in, that's up and going. Of course, I have my headphones right here and I've got the SSD backup hard drive. I'm just gonna leave this aside right now because I'm not gonna be pulling things from it. Put that right there. Next thing I do is open up Cubase. There we go. And of course, plug in the headphones. There, plug in on this laptop is on this side. All right, and then I can just add my instruments. Let's see, it's the U H E Diva. This is one of the ones I was talking about that's pretty labor intensive. It's a synth plugin, it is out of this world. I absolutely love it. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna unplug these headphones because you'll get the idea. 
usually I'd have these on, rocking and rolling, but so you can hear kind of what's going on here. And now I've got my keyboard right here doing its thing. Uh, and it's really just that easy. Everything else works, you know, just the same. Whatever plugging on toss in here. I've got my keyboard if I want to, you know, do some drums with it, you know, I can do that. It's just such a great way to, you know, when you're on the go and you want some sort of writing recording rig, you know, I've, I've taken this on the road before and I'm laying down the MIDI and the grid and building the drum tracks away and just kind of gets old after a while. I want something I can touch and I can feel and I can play. So I've been loving this setup so far. And yeah, you can just really go to town in the middle of the wood, in the middle of the city, wherever you want to make music. And another beautiful thing about it is with everything running off the laptop, this laptop in particular, I can get hours and hours of recording power from it without having to be plugged in at all. So that for me is a major plus. And of course, once I'm done with the project or I've got you know the, the bones laid out, I can just save the project and dump it over to the SSD hard drive or to my in-house server slash NAS, drop it on to my actual studio and here back on the monitors and do the mixing from there. And since I have most all the same plugins on both computers, it's basically just, you know, turnkey, plug and go. I'm not having to replace plugins that sound like other plugins that are, that are placeholders. I actually have what I want on both machines. And I mentioned earlier in the video how I have things I can add and subtract from it. The first thing I would add, let's say I want to record some acoustic guitar in the middle of the woods. Uh, I actually can bring just my Focusrite 2i4 and plug it in and then I have a very portable, small USB interface that I can then run microphones off of. So that is the one piece that I bring into the whole rig when I'm wanting to do something specific. And that interface being as small as it is, it can also fit in the laptop case. So still everything in one laptop case. Another thing I love about the setup is let's say for some reason my desktop just craps the bed and dies on me. You know, assuming you have things backed up, which I try to do, you know, almost on a daily basis, I can just take this laptop with most all the same plugins except for one thing and I can just have it sit right in that desktop's place with the HDMI out, all the USB plugins, and I can be up and running literally in minutes. So having that backup is also a nice peace of mind. And in case you were wanting to know what model this laptop is, is the Acer Aspire 5 with the 11th generation i7, 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, 500 gig SSD. Again, I got on sale for 650. I think normally it goes for about 800, so I was super stoked on that savings. Of course, if you have any questions about the rig or any ideas, please like this video and comment below what your questions are, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, maybe tell me about your rig, I'm super curious. I wanna know what else I can add to it if I want to without taking up much more space. You know, of course, that might all lead to in the box type stuff, but for the most part, now that I've got the little keyboard, I am in hog heaven. Thank you for watching, and until next time, adios.